What we're trying to communicate is that sea level rise is not an issue that we need to deal with in the future. It's something we need to deal with right now in terms of developing solutions to address sea level rise. Um, and so with these events, these citizen science flood reporting events, uh, we use the king tide as an opportunity to bring people out of their homes to observe the flooding and also participate in solutions, which is uh, in collecting information that will help us to better understand the impacts of sea level rise locally. So long as we're going to be here, it's really important that we do our part in making sure that the that the data gets collected, that the people who are working on this problem have a real reason to move forward. And, and if you have all the data, then you can really sort of make projections and figure out what's going on. So I want to do my part for the city. And um, Miami's a beautiful place. We don't want it to be impacted by sea level rise in the way that the projections are sort of um, putting out there. So we, we want to do our part to make sure that that folks who are in the know and who, who are able to build a plan have the, the data that they need. Who's ready to take some samples? Yeah! So I'm a consultant. I advise cities on sea level rise planning. Um, and one of the things we talk a lot about is the importance of citizen science. And so this was my first opportunity to actually get my hands dirty and do it myself. Put the filter on the syringe. <laughs> It is a manpower thing because you simply can't cover the number of sites that we're working on today uh, with the research infrastructure that we have at, um, at our disposal. But I want to say that it's just as important to, to engage people in this way so that we can communicate the issues of sea level rise. Okay, there you go. Yeah, if it's at zero when you put okay. fresh water, then it's calibrated. Oh. Yeah. I've probably seen it, of course, but I haven't paid attention because I didn't even, I didn't know what was, in, what was it about, that sea comes and, and get floating in the, in the middle of the street. So yeah, now we know. I, I think, even for myself, I don't think I really appreciated how urgent the issue of sea level rise was until I saw the water coming out of the drain and it just doesn't stop. It just continues and it continues to come out and the, the area that's being inundated by flood becomes larger and larger. And until you see that really you know, dynamic aspect of the flooding, I think it's difficult to really understand what's going on around us.